Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here with the Hobbytown Hobbyplex for a quick um, how to solder tutorial and a couple of different, uh, uh, different things that we usually do um, when we're working with RC cars or planes. Um, I just thought uh, it'd be about time to kind of show um, everybody uh, a couple different things that we do and, and how to do it. So um, one thing that I needed to do was my crawler uh, had this lead and I broke a wire off of it. So I decided I'm just gonna splice together two different wires. And I thought, what a great chance to show you guys um, what we're doing. So I've already went ahead and I've pre-tinned um, one side and almost all the other sides. And all pre-tinning is, all pre-tinning is, is getting solder on the wires that you're gonna solder together. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when they solder is uh, they'll take like blank wires or, and they'll twist them uh, together to try and to try and you know it's 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 one way to do it but it's a little bit more difficult um, this is a much cleaner way and uh, a much easier way in my opinion um, also I got my um, heat shrink ready to cover the wires as soon as I uh, do connect them and uh, so they can make a nice clean um, setting you don't want exposed wires obviously right next to one another so um, so I'm gonna finish pre-tinning this one so I've got my soldering iron, a nice hot 40 watt uh, Radio Shack brand one that we sell at the Plex. And I'm going to clean the tip a little bit. It's always nice to have a sponge. If you don't have a sponge, I just took a wet towel and wet it down so that I can, I can clean the tip off. You want that nice shiny um, sheen on the end of it. And we're going to get a little bit of solder on there. And we're just going to dip this into that and let it soak it up just like that. And so now, it helps have a nice surface that uh, won't burn. Um, so I got my pliers out, and what I'm gonna do is put black to black here on the uh, pliers, and hopefully these two will just kinda, kinda go together. So we have our solder ready, solder and iron, and now, get the heat on it, the two touch for a second, you got to kind of hold it, and blow on it, and now, la la la, just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll take our heat shrink, and normally, uh, a heat gun or a lighter would work great. But if you're in a pinch and you don't have one of those, you can actually just use the part of the soldering iron that uh, doesn't have any um, solder on it, like the end of it. What I usually do is just kind of go like this. This is kind of a hacky way to do it, but it, it, it still shrinks the heat shrink. And that's all we're trying to do. Just like that. Trust me, if you got a heat gun or a, a lighter is the best thing. If you got a lighter, it uh, comes out a lot cleaner, a lot better. So... There we go, that's spliced together now, and uh, we will have ourselves the rest of them. We'll do the rest of them later. Um, I wanna show you guys how to splice together uh, a little bit bigger wire. So um, a lot of times, let's say that uh, you have a soldering iron, um, uh, let's say that you have a speed controller, and you got this wire, and you've been uh, going through a couple different builds and you've cut that wire down to the point where it's uh, too far and you need to put these two together. So I'm going to show you guys without using the wire stripper. So I do have wire strippers and this is a great tool if you can find them. This is an old Novak one. Um, unfortunately Novak's not around anymore but I still have my good old wire strippers and uh, you can actually See if I can get this to work here. So you put it in like that, and then you pull on it. Look at that, beautiful. Give it a little spin of your fingers. And now we're gonna take our solder, and our soldering iron here, and we're gonna get it really hot. You actually wanna put the heat on the wire itself, because eventually, that wire, we'll see how it sucks that solder right in. 
You can see it disappear in there. Give it a good twist. You want to coat the whole thing. The entire thing. That means that solder is through the entire set of wires, okay? That's nice and clean. My fingers are really hot. So now we're going to show you the other way to cut that wire. If you don't have wire strippers, I like to take my little uh, uh, tire tool, my uh, or not tire tool, my uh, uh, body scissors, curved scissors, and you can just kind of you can just kind of cut it without cutting it. You're only getting the silicone covering. You're not actually getting any of the wire. You can kind of feel it when you're using the scissors, and then just boop, go like that, and it comes right out. And then give it a good spin. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get the wire nice and toasty. And then start letting it suck it in there. Just like so. And we'll spin it around a little bit. And there we go. Now... We shouldn't even need any more solder. Kind of the same way we did it with the little wires is we'll take one wire, we'll find a hard surface. If Hopefully if you got like a, a countertop that won't burn, um, that'll work. But also, you know, pretty much anything's gonna do. And then, it's all about angles on this guy. I gotta get the right angle for that. So, ooh, that's hot. All right, so, grab a solder iron. Now you should just be able to press them together a little bit. And voila, they're connected. And then the same thing, you would take your, uh, your heat shrink that you can get. Uh, we sell a big pack of this stuff for like 99 cents at the Plex. And you would just cover that joint and give it a good of a... Um, of a, uh, a lighter, or uh, if you got a heat gun, you can use that. Or, like I said, got your soldering iron, you can just kind of, you can kind of go around and do the same thing if you're in a pinch, like I am. My lighters tend to disappear around here, so. Okay, so look at that. If I was doing a speed controller wire or something, or I needed to splice two together, that'd be a really good joint. That'd be a good one. Finally, um, I want to show you guys how I would um, solder wire onto like a motor or something like that. So this is a 13.5 motor that we used in our Super Slash um, or later last year, late last year. And you can see that the tabs already have solder on them. So they're already been uh, uh, pre-tinned, I guess. Um, if it was a clean, if it was a clean brand new motor, you would just get it, you would put the soldering iron on the tab itself, get it nice and hot, and then you would just add solder to it until it melted in. So it looks like that right there. And let's use the same piece of wire here for a good demonstration. We'll uh, get it nice and hot. So we're gonna pre-tin the wire again. Get some heat transfer there, there we go. Like a so. All right, so you can see that wire really sucking that solder up now. Okay. There we go. Nice and shiny too. That means that you got a, a hot um, joint, right? So if this was in a car, you know, we're just going to simulate it being held still and whatever. But uh, you would just take your pre-tinned wire, set it on there. You don't even need any solder at this point. You just let the two melt together, and voila, you have yourself a soldered on wire onto your motor. Nice and easy, okay? Uh, most important thing, in my opinion, is getting your stuff pre-tinned and uh, um, not using too much solder. Too much solder gets all globby and it, and it makes a big mess. And uh, also, very important just to make sure that you have a nice hot soldering iron. I like 40 watts. Um, there's some 60s out there. Um, 25 watts can work, but they're you know it takes a little bit longer. Um, 40 watts are pretty good in my opinion. So, 
Also good solder. This is my uh, Minitronic solder. I think I've already talked about this, but uh, this spool has lasted me a really long time. Uh, we sell these for like $11.99 at the Plex. And uh, I can't believe I'm actually down to uh, the last part of that spool. Look at that. So um, another tool to have uh, before we let you go is, is one of these um, like extra hands. It's, a, it's got a big weight to it. So if I needed to hold something, um, like let's say I wanted to have something, I would just do like that guy right there and then I could come in with the other one. That's a really nice tool to have. We didn't need it for this demonstration, but uh, still something good to have. So that's it. I'll stop talking. Um, I hope that helps you guys out and uh, you kind of give it a shot yourself, practice with some wire that you have or lying around and, uh, and uh, become a pro at soldering. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and uh, make sure you subscribe, like, tell your friends, and we'll make a new video for you soon.